Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Vault City. This one is called Coconut Cherry Cabana and it is a 4.7% uh, modern sour beer. It's a session sour. Session sour. Um, and this one I got from Priest Town. Can't remember. Can't really remember how much it cost me. Probably like £4.50 or something. Um, yeah, and it's a Vault City. It's, you know, typical Vault City stuff. It's a shake to wake, so I've shook it. So when I open it in a minute, it'll be over the sink. Not explode, hopefully. Um, some guff on the back, as usual. It says, we've cherry-picked this flavour combination as the perfect pairing for our sour base beer and house mixed culture. Mountains of cherry puree meets sweet, creamy coconut flavours, creating exotic aromas with a vegan-friendly beer that's perfectly balanced with every sip. It says that the nice can art is quite nice. It's, it's like a sunset over a tron looking pixelated wild it looks really nice there's some stars but i really really like this one just reminds me of the 1980s tron looks really cool uh do you know when they load into the world and then it just sort of does that style first before it loads in any textures it's yeah it's quite cool uh there's no other guff on it um like i said it's a vegan beer so let's crack it open and see what we've got a little volatile but not in not in too messy Wipe my hands. Yeah, just a little, but manageable. All right, there's the beer. I've kind of really, really badly poured that one. Um, but we've got ourselves a nice cherry red beer um, with a pink compact head. Looks quite nice. I'm going to try and take it slow so that way the, the head can sort of dissipate and I'll be able to drink it better but let's get a smell and see what we get shall we and cherries straight away I tell you what that is jam packed full of cherries there's a hint of coconut it's not over the top um it's not really that it's it's quite mild the coconut but it is there um you do get the sort of actual I don't know fleshy bit of the coconut it's not flesh but you know what I mean like the the actual fruit bit it doesn't smell like the shell or anything it smells like the actual fruits um, the flakes or the the innards of a coconut it's it smells sour as well but that's probably the cherries the tartness of the cherries um it smells quite nice let's get a mouthful for body and carb shall we Carbs quite light. God. It's got a. I'd give it a six on the sour scale. Carbs light, body light medium. Um, it's a six on the sour scale because it's a very constant sour. It's not very sharp at one end or delayed. It's just a constant sour. It's very well balanced. Um, so far, so good. Let me just try and. Yeah. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. I'll tell you what, what it was missing in the smell makes up for in the flavour. The coconut is quite, well, flavourful. It's there, it's not mild, it's not hidden, it's quite prominent. Same with the cherries. Cherries are taking a step back in the flavour rather than in the uh, the nose, but they're there as well. So you get the, the coconut is your main flavour throughout the beer. Really, really nice, exotic, juicy, I guess you'd call it, but it's, it's flavourful and it's there. And then you've got sort of cherry peaks. Well, I mean, sort of matches the theme of the can, sort of little peaks of mountain. Um, but yeah, you get sort of peaks of cherry, so you'd be nice coconut flavour, and you get a nice hit of cherry. It just sort of does that, so it comes and goes. It's really, really nice. Very, very well balanced. And while you've got all that, you've got your sour just running through with the coconut. Once your sour goes, it goes really dry really quickly, but then stops being dry. It just takes all the moisture out of your mouth for just a second. Um, and that's where all your flavour goes. Yeah, and a mild coconut lingering flavour, but not an over the top. It's very, very nice. Very well balanced. I quite like this. Just give it a top up. Really badly top up, but yeah, I quite like this one. So, that's one of the nicer 
bought cities I've had recently, especially with the shake to wake stuff. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it, but when I want a beer, I want to be able to crack it open and drink it there and then, not have to wait another half an hour, 45 minutes, because I've had to shake it to make it taste better, you know. It's one of them. If you're patient, it's going to taste better and it'll be great. If you're not, it might taste not as good. Anyway, um, so, Vault City's Coconut Cherry Cabana. 4.7 um, session sour out of 10. I think that's a very nice reasonable 9. Um, it's very very well done. I like it. Very well rounded. Good balance and full of flavour. So if you have had this before please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it. If you don't. If you've not had it I'll leave a link to Vault City down below. I got mine from Priestown here in Preston. Can't remember how much it cost. Around about £4. Um, but yeah, it, link's down below. If you like video though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Because the show must go on. Etc, etc. So on and so forth. And I'll see you later.